Hey, Tim here, and today's another ride day, and today we're gonna go up to the mountains. Today's ride should be about 20 miles, so I'll be using pass three, four, and five quite a bit today. Uh, I'm starting with a full charge on the battery, and we'll just see how much juice is used during this ride. So stick around and check it out. At this stage, I'm still testing the bike's limits. So for today's ride, I chose a route that I knew would have a lot of climbing. To test the limits of the motor and the batteries, I stayed in pedal assist 3 for most of the ride. As I started this slow climb into the mountains, my GoPro lost its GPS signal and stopped tracking my speed. On this small descent, I reached about 30 miles per hour. As the steeper climbing begins, you can really hear the whine of the motor. At this stage, I was in pedal assist 4. As I reached the peak of the first climb, the steepest climb was yet to come. As I started climbing the 11 to 13% grades, you can really hear the strain on the motor as I try pedal assist 4 and pedal assist 5. Having finally reached the peak, it was time for a quick rest before the fast descent. Well, here I am at the 10 mile spot and I'm at the peak of the climb I'm doing today. Even though this is a electric assist bike, it's still a really good workout. My heart rate's been averaging over 140 and I did get into the 160s according to my Apple watch. This is definitely a lot easier than doing this ride on my road bike, which I've done on a number of occasions when I was in better shape. I tried using pass four and five coming up the steep hill over here that we just got up. I didn't really notice a discernible difference between pass three, four, and five, honestly, coming up that steep climb right there. Maybe a little bit, but nothing substantial. I noticed three seems to suffice just fine when I'm using my gears, and it's an 11 speed cassette. So as long as I'm shifting properly and using three, I think I can pretty much conquer most normal hills. As I reach peak speeds of around 35 miles per hour, it's this point when you just put your faith in your bike and your components and enjoy the ride. The bike corners wonderfully, the suspension absorbs much of the washboard surface, and the brakes modulate well and have great stopping power.
with all of the climbing behind me, I stayed primarily in Pedal Assist 0, Pedal Assist 1, and Pedal Assist 2. each passing ride, I'm growing to appreciate the Juggernaut Beast Ultra 2 more and more. All right, today's ride was a little over 22 and a half miles. Uh, Strava says I climbed 1,331 feet. I used past three most of the time, and I did try four and five, but it didn't seem that effective. So as long as I was using my gears properly, past three seemed perfectly fine. Decided to come home by way of the coast. All in all, I would say the performance was good. I used about 60% of the battery. So with a ride like that, I wouldn't really expect to get much more than 50 miles. Uh, but with more flat and less pushing the higher pedal assist levels, I definitely think I could stretch anywhere from 75, 85, maybe even up to 90 miles, depending on the kind of ride and, and how I push it. So that was a great ride and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the bell for notifications, and feel free to comment below. See you next time.